By now you're probably realizing that things work a little bit differently in Microsoft Access than they do from the other applications in the Microsoft Office suite. And that goes for checking spelling and grammar as well. If you think about Microsoft Word or Outlook, for example, spelling and grammar can be checked on the fly. That's why we see those red and green squiggly lines under some of our text. Well, in Microsoft Access, there is no grammar checker for one, and you can't check spelling on the fly, so you'll never see those red squiggly lines. There is a spell checker, though, that we can access whenever we want. Of course, when we enter data into a table in Microsoft Access, we want to make sure it's accurate, so using the spell checker now and then is a good idea. And here's how you do it. I still have the Music Library 2 open here on my desktop. And if you don't, you can go to the Exercise Files into the Lesson 2 folder and find Music Library 2. Open that up. And what we're going to do is actually type in something incorrectly here. Record number 13 here, Greece, which is various artists. I'm going to take out the U just so I have a spelling error in there. And you can see as I tab along, nothing happens to the various. I don't see a red squiggly line showing up underneath. But as I'm entering my data, periodically I may want to use the spell checker. Now, you'll want to make sure the Home tab is selected, because that's where you'll see under the Record section, Spelling. And we'll give that a click. So right away it kicks into gear. It gets to the word Various, which is missing our U. doesn't recognize it in the dictionary. And Various, with the U, is highlighted down below. So we can choose to ignore that, change it, add it to the dictionary, ignore all and change all our other options and then we've also got autocorrect here so some of the things you may be used to from the other applications in the office suite this is one that we do want to change so we'll click change and you can see that the spell check is complete so I can click OK it's all fixed up for me in my table and you can see my cursor is sitting there inside that actual field in that record now let's go back to spelling for a second because you may have noticed that autocorrect is an option and autocorrect can be turned on so that as we're typing things do get fixed for us on the fly we won't see spelling errors on the fly but we may want to see them getting fixed so I'm going to go up here to the office button and down to access options and over here on the left I'm going to click on proofing and you can see under autocorrect options we do have a button as well as some things that are happening automatically for us, like ignoring words in uppercase. They won't be considered spelling mistakes. Words containing numbers will not be considered spelling errors as well, unless we want to turn that off by clicking the checkbox. I'm going to leave it on. Because we're working with data, different rules apply. We do ignore internet file addresses like www addresses or FTP addresses and so on. We do want to flag repeated words. And you can see we have a couple other options, Enforce, Accented, Uppercase, and French. If you're using any of the French characters, that can be turned on or off. And Suggest from the main dictionary only is another option. Remember, we can have many dictionaries, custom dictionaries, installed as well. But I want to go up to the autocorrect options here and show you some of the things that are automatically corrected. And this applies to the entire suite. It's not just access. So what you see here is being used by Word, Excel, Outlook as well. Correct two initial capitals is selected. So if you accidentally hold down the shift key for a little too long and you get the word initial showing up like that, it does get fixed. Capitalizing the first letter of sentences is something I've turned off because quite often you don't want a capital letter showing up after a period. So in this case, access would recognize a period as the end of a sentence and then the next word would be capitalized. But I use short forms with periods, so I turn that one off. Capitalized names of days is turned on. If you accidentally forget your caps lock key is turned on. After typing a few characters, it'll get fixed for you. And then replace text as you type is turned on, which means all of these items down below come into play. So you can see here, for example, at the top, if I type in a round bracket, small c, and another round bracket, I get the copyright symbol. And then there's a whole bunch of frequently made mistakes down below. You can see the word about with two b's. And as I scroll down, there's a huge long alphabetical listing. One that happens a lot is that I before E except after C rule. So if we go down to receive, for example, I wonder if that one is in there. Getting closer. Look at that. Receive, spelled I-E-V-E, -E, would be replaced automatically with the correct spelling of receive. Now keep in mind, you can add anything you like in here. You can choose what needs to be replaced with what, and in some cases that could be a short form. For example, R1, I want replaced with Rack1. By clicking the Add button now, 
every time I type in R1, the words Rack1 will show up in my table, in my database. I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to click OK again to close that up. So you can add or remove any of the entries in the autocorrect options and keep in mind too that you should frequently check the spelling of the content of your database. In our case, working through a table, entering a lot of data, checking the spelling now and then, at least at the very end before you close out of the table, is always a good idea.